Google's new text-to-speech is absolutely insane, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to access it, five practical ways you can start using it right now, and the absolute easiest way you can create scripts and dialogues with it. So I'll have links in the description below for everything you'll need, but we are on AI Studio. On the left side, we're going to go to Generate Media, and from here, you will see this Gemini Speech Generation. We can click that, and we will end up with a screen that looks like this. There's a lot going on, but I'll break it down for you. On the left here is the raw structure, which is just a raw look at everything that is happening. So you can see speaker one, speaker two, and we can edit these placeholders to get started. There's also this script builder, which we can type in manually what we want the speakers to sound like or what tone and then we can go through speaker one is going to say this speaker two and we can kind of go through it and add speaker dialogues and you can see it's going to build on the raw data side and then on the right we can go from a single speaker to a multi-speaker. We have options between Pro and Flash. We can go through and use this system here to set up a script, but that is a lot of work and I am lazy. There is a better way. So on Gemini, I have set up a gem called Generate Speech, and I have this script here that I have created. And now that I have it created on Gemini, I can quickly open the gem here and I can say, hey, we now have a prompt that says two people talking about if they should subscribe to a YouTube channel. We hit submit and the way this prompt is set up is it's going to ask you questions to tailor the dialogue or the conversation exactly to the way you want. So we're going to quickly answer the questions. So we're gonna answer the type of tone we're looking for. So I said humorous, how long do we want it to be? So we'll say maybe like 25 uh, seconds. And it says in minutes, but anyway. And then it says, who is the intended audience? So we'll just say, you know, general audience. And we'll type that in here and we will submit this. And it's going to, it's going to bring back a prompt for us that we can throw into here under the raw structure and we can generate a audio. So this is relatively short as we requested. We're just gonna go here and we're going to hit run. And now our audio is going to get generated with our speakers here and with everything we just wrote. So we have our audio file done. You can see it down here. It is 29 seconds long. We asked for 25. It does a pretty good job at estimating the time based off the words. So now we can hit play and you can hear exactly how this sounds. Hey, did you see that last video from Captain Quirk? I'm this close to subscribing. Oh, Captain Quirk. The one who tried to bake a cake using only a waffle. Now you have the ability to access AI Studio and create back and forth conversations extremely easily using the gem and the prompt that I have given you. Up next is five practical ways you can start using text-to-speech right now. And before I start showing you number one, I wanna remind you to click the subscribe button if you're interested in AI content. It is completely free to subscribe. Majority of you watching this are not subscribed. So just take a moment, click subscribe so you can stay in the know as I cover AI content on a daily basis. First way I'm gonna show you how to use this is through a podcast. So we have introducing Claude 4 and I, covered Claude 4 on yesterday's video. I did some coding with it, but you can scroll down. You can see this entire article. We're going to convert this over to a podcast. So we are on our gem. We gave it a link and I said, can you pull the text from this article and make it back and forth podcast? And I want it to be an informative podcast discussion that is four minutes and it is made for a general audience. So it is taking in all the information and it's coming up with the script. So because I gave it all the information that it needs, it doesn't need to ask me anything else. So here we go. We can just kind of copy this down and this will make a full podcast for us. We can modify the voices. We can make minor adjustments, but in just a few moments, we will take a full article and convert it over to a back and forth podcast based off a summary of what the article says. So now we have our article to a podcast. We can hit Welcome play. Welcome to AI Today, where we break down the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. Today, we're diving into some exciting news from Anthropic. That's right. Anthropic has just announced the next generation of their Claude models, Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4. 
absolutely wild and the use cases in this video get better and better so let's continue let's say we are reading a book we have a part of chapter one here i'm just going to show you a snippet so i'm going to paste part of the chapter in we are then going to add this prompt here that says i want you to turn this book into a dramatic reading by two people i want you to keep it word for word so the time will be whatever it ends up being and my target audience is a movie so make it dramatic and again our gem is going to go forward and convert this over to the right format with a nice back and forth and it's going to be a dramatic reading. And just like that, we now have a back and forth of a dramatic reading of a book. And those relating to the illumination of the deep sea. Until within a few years, the ocean has been a sealed book. Okay, so it's good at making articles into podcasts. It's good at reading books. How about more like creating content? I'm trying to create an advertisement for a purse made out of tennis balls. I want it to be short, like 15 seconds long. The speaker has to be super excited over this product, trying to sell it. So this is our prompt. We are going to use this tool to make a voiceover for selling a product for an advertisement. This can be maybe a product demo. It can be used in many different ways. It came back with some questions for us. We answered these questions here and we are here. So it's asking some more questions based off our product. And now we have our script. No way. That's the most amazing thing ever. I need one like yesterday. Right? Perfect for the court, stylish everywhere. You can obviously tweak with the settings, tweak with the sounds, the voices, the prompts, and everything else to get it exactly the way you like. But it is pretty cool for doing voiceovers like that because you don't need a voice actor. You can get the same exact voice consistently throughout to get it to say whatever you want in the tone that you want. You can also use it for creating short form content for like YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, TikToks, so on and so forth. So here I said, explain how AI works like M5. There's two speakers, make it 45 seconds long and informative. So again, it just has some follow up questions. We have our audio file all done here so we can hit play. We can also hit the dots and we can click download. You can now piece together some images, some audio, and you have a little short in the making. Now some toys or even phones can be so smart. The last way you can use this tool is by prompting Gemini through the gem and say, hey, I want to learn a language, keep the language nice and simple, and you can listen and learn pronunciations of how words sound, how to say them. You can come up with little expressions of how to order stuff. And then if you're going on a trip, you can say, hey, how do I order water to the table or whatever you might want so just kind of a fun little use case there i think this is better than 11 labs because of a few reasons first of all it is completely free you can access this through ai studio so that alone gives it a leg up in my opinion but more importantly the audio quality is phenomenal it shows emotion it shows expression i mean 11 labs does as well but i think this is just a step above i think this is really good the only thing it is lacking is custom voices and i think it will be on par with everything 11 labs offers just free and better audio quality i don't know what your thoughts are do you guys use 11 labs what do you use it for let me know in the comments below which one do you think is better again comments Let's have a conversation. And if you guys enjoy AI content, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. And don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one tomorrow. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see at FranklinAI.com where you're meant to be.